Aurora Borealis is an 1865 oil on canvas painting by Frederick Edwin Church of the Aurora Borealis and the Arctic Expedition of Dr. Isaac Hayes. The painting measures 56 by 84 and a half inches. The Church was born in 1826 in Hartford, Connecticut and died April 7, 1900. He was a central figure in the Hudson River School of American Landscape Painters, perhaps best known for painting large panoramic landscapes often depicting mountains, waterfalls, and sunsets, but also depicting dramatic natural phenomena that he saw during his travels to the Arctic and Central and South America. This piece depicted here was based on two separate sketches. The first incident was in Aurora, witnessed by Arctic explorer Isaac Hayes, in which he provided a sketch and description of the Aurora Borealis to church. Coinciding with Hayes' furthest northern movement, the Aurora Borealis appeared over the peak. The iconography of the painting suggests personal and patriotic references. The peak in the painting had been named Mount Church during Hayes' expedition. He also incorporated details of Hayes' ship drawn from a sketch he brought back upon returning from, the, from his expedition. Presenting the ship's safest passage through the eerie experience, churches, Church suggests optimism in the future with a tiny light shining out from the ship's window. Aurora Borealis and some of Church's other landscape work are examples of Church's use of luminism. Characteristics of luminism are a diffused light, a hazy atmosphere, and a calm view of the land. The luminism painting style is an aspect of the Hudson River School of Landscape Painting of which Church was a part and associated with American landscape from the 19th century. Created at the end of the American Civil War, the piece was believed to depict the sign of a simultaneously triumphant, triumphant victory, Union victory. It means amplified in relation to uh, later works. Aurora Borealis is considered by some scholars to be the best understood within a wider grouping of paintings. The meanings of the paintings multiply in relation to each other and of the harrowing period of American history during which they were created. The original painting is now owned by the Smithsonian American Art Museum and is on display there. But today, you can buy a reprint replica of the piece for about $100. Albert Bierstadt, a prominent artist of the 19th century, is widely recognized for his oversized oil paintings which romanticize American topography. In 1832, two-year-old Albert Bierstadt immigrated with his family to New Bedford, Massachusetts from Soligen, Germany. Throughout his youth, Bierstadt expressed a great interest in art. Disregarding his family's opposition, Bierstadt established a career for himself as an artist by the age of 20. However, Bierstadt found it difficult to make ends meet with only the minuscule salary of an amateur artist. His solution to this issue was to work as a teacher and continue his artwork on the side. Bierstadt's passion was American terrain. He was especially fascinated with mountains and made many sketches and paintings of the Rocky Mountains, claiming that their beauty rivals that of the Alpine Mountains in Europe. Bierstadt's first showing in 1858 at the National Academy of Design in New York not only brought him popularity, but also endorsed his work as an artist and fortified his influence on 19th century American landscape painting. During the peak of his youth, traveling the famous Oregon Trail became prevalent amongst Americans. Having traveled along the trail many times, Bierstadt was able to artistically place the massive migration into perspective. Through his oil painting, Emigrants Crossing the Plains, Bierstadt truly puts the observer in a state of awe. He depicts a large train of German emigrants along with their cattle on the Oregon Trail. An aspect which truly characterizes this piece is the majestic sunset. It conveys the feeling that something glorious lies up ahead of the emigrants. This is particularly important because the idea of manifest destiny was embedded in American culture during this time period. This idea was America's literal perception that it was their God-given right to expand westward. In many paintings that reference the Oregon Trail, one will see an extremely bright light or even an angel pointing west depicting that God is guiding them westward. Besides the romanticized view, Bierstadt also pays very close attention to details. For instance, one can see skeletal remains of a bull in the foreground, and what appear to be Indian teepees in the background. 
Perhaps Bierstraw added these details because he realized that his artwork would influence observers to make the journey westward. Bierstraw found his inspiration for this particular piece on his second journey along the Oregon Trail with writer Fitz Hugh Ludlow. Beginning their journey on May in 1863, they encountered the displayed group of German emigrants just outside Fort Kearney, Nebraska. Ludlow also recorded this scene in his 1870 book, The Heart of the Continent describing the picturesque party of Germans with a large herd of cattle and 50 wagons, such a delight in form, color, and spirit. This description from Ludlow nicely complements Bierstadt's spectacular painting. <laughs>